Just a quick word to say, the Scotland Rugby Podcast is now available every Tuesday. Join me, Andy Burke, and Tom English for everything you need to know about the world of Scottish rugby. Just head to BBC Sounds and subscribe to the Scotland Rugby Podcast. The Scottish Football Podcast from BBC Radio Scotland. Welcome to the Scottish Football Podcast. I'm Martin Dowden from Madrid with Celtic here to take on Diego Simeone's Atletico Madrid tomorrow night. Their toughest test to date, you'd imagine, at the toughest level, the Champions League. We'll hear from the Celtic camp shortly and get the thoughts of the new St Johnston manager, Craig Levine. But first, let's get a bit of insight, some local knowledge of Atletico Madrid. Jose Rodriguez is a football journalist for Radio Marker and he believes this is a massive game for the home side, particularly given their poor form last season. I think uh, tomorrow is the, for me, is the most important match uh, the, in all the season for Atletico Madrid uh, because uh, tomorrow, less one year ago, uh, they failed in Champions League. Uh, they, they, they were fourth in the group and they were outside uh, of Europe uh, very early in the season. Uh, that was very annoying for the supporters, for the uh, um, uh, all the all the club for all the, 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 the for all people who have responsibilities in Atletico de Madrid because the loss of money was very important and the credibility of course of the team uh, because in, in the league in the La Liga uh, they were bad uh, too in that uh, time of the of the season in that moment uh, was very very important now uh, the Champions League have started, um, I think, more or less fine, but the, the Providence goal in Rome uh, for, for Lazio in the last second of the match, uh, I think uh, for Atletico de Madrid was uh, a bit dangerous because now uh, you have to win all the matches here in Madrid. And maybe if you don't do it, uh, you have a problem and you have to, to get points in the Quip in, in Rotterdam. That I think it's not the easiest uh, uh, stadium to go to, to get uh, a draw or, or a victory uh, in two weeks. I'm sure uh, Madrid fans and, and the club may be expected to go to Glasgow and beat Celtic. What was the reaction to the draw? I don't know if they expected to win. Uh, I think they knew it's, it was going to be a difficult match because of all the atmosphere in Celtic Park, uh, I think everybody knows it. Uh, uh, independent of, of uh, 1974 and all those things that uh, spoke about uh, that match. Uh, but I think uh, people expect to win tomorrow. I think uh, the fans know that tomorrow uh, the team uh, can't uh, let the, the another result um, the, the, uh, different of a, of a victory. Yeah, so sorry. because because uh, at home uh, Atletico de Madrid has uh, beat it their own record of uh, victories. Uh, they have won the last uh, 14 uh, matches in La Liga. And uh, if you include uh, the, the, the victory against uh, Feyenoord, there are 15 uh, consecutive matches winning here at home. So tomorrow, people think they, should, they must win. Where are people surprised at the quality Celtic showed in that game, particularly first half they, they seem to play at a very high level against a very good team yeah, I think uh, the, the, the players uh, who most surprised the uh, Atletico de Madrid fans was Maeda uh, very very uh, his high speed and uh, for Hasi uh, I think uh, in the first uh, part of the match Atletico de Madrid suffered in the uh, in the left uh, wing because uh, Galan uh, hadn't uh, played a lot during this season and his his uh, first match in Champions uh, was a bit difficult because Maeda was very very fast and uh, had a lot of troubles to to stop him tomorrow uh, in that uh, in that uh, wing is going to be Rodrigo Riquelme, but I think he has more troubles to defend 
than to attack. I think it's going to be more offensive, Atletico de Madrid tomorrow. And I don't know if uh, the speed of, of uh, offensive players of Celtic can be a bit problematic, for, especially for Savic or Witzel. Uh, they are very fast defenders. From what you're saying overall, it, it feels like you know Atletico Madrid are in a good position, but there's a little bit of pressure on them. Yes, yes, because the, the, this year uh, you have to to be first or second. Uh, we could speak about if you are second, it's very dangerous because the first of the other groups are very strong, and maybe in the in the next round you could play against the Manchester City or, or something like that. But that's uh, another problem. Uh, the main now is to be one of the two first in this group and the pressure, I think, is all for Atletico de Madrid. Uh, Celtic tomorrow, all what they get is, it's, is welcome. So I don't know if, if uh, Atletico de Madrid uh, is thinking about not winning tomorrow because the situation in the group it will be a bit complicated. Just finally, what is the expectation for Madrid to obviously get through the group? Are they thinking they have a chance of winning this tournament overall? I think so. I, I, I don't know. Uh, they have uh, they, oh, they were in a in a very good shape these these weeks, but Friday's lost. I think uh, a lot of people is a bit surprised because nobody expected it. And the team was radically different uh, than the rest of the season. Uh, I think it's one of the two worst matches uh, during the year. Uh, nobody was at his level. And now uh, they need uh, 180 grades, uh, a change of 180 grades, because uh, if not, uh, I, th I think uh, Atletico de Madrid is a team that if uh, it's not uh, at 100% of his level, is going to suffer in Europe. Simeone always said in, in his conference that Europe is different uh, to Spain. And if you uh, are not at uh, your 100%, you are going to suffer, especially physic uh, in the physical questions because Celtic or, or Feyenoord have been better in this area. So from Jose's point of view, there's a bit of pressure on Atletico. We've just left Madrid's press conference there, all conducted through a translator. Diego Simeone talked of his respect for Celtic, his respect for their style of play, and he expects them to show the same intensity they did in that 2-2 draw at Celtic Park. He said there's a lot of excitement from fans and the players here to do better than they did in that game. Atleti did suffer a surprise 2-1 loss in La Liga on Friday, but he dismissed that with full focus on Celtic and added that it's a tough group and he feels that Celtic deserve more in their other fixtures against Feyenoord and Lazio, so expects a tough test. Those are the thoughts of Simeone. What about the Celtic fans who've made the trip here to Madrid? Uh, we've got a decent chance. I, I thought we, we played well in the home game against them, so um, be happy with the score draw. Can you see a win? Uh, it's going to be difficult, but I think if we start the way we started in the last game, give ourselves a chance, then yeah, we've got every chance of sneaking it, but it's a tough place to come, isn't it? So hopefully, fingers crossed. How do you feel about the way Celtic have performed over the, the three games up to now? I think we've played really well, actually. I think we, you know, we've been competing and we've been in every single game. And I, I think it's progress from last year. We did well last year, but I see a bit more... So it was resolute in defence. I think Brendan's got us playing a slightly more sensible nature and we're also gung-ho. And I think it's paying off a little bit. Just need a result. <laughs> How do you think uh, Celtic can hurt a team like this tomorrow? Uh, I think uh, probably being solid at the back to start with, but winning the midfield battle, I, I would consider maybe starting Iwata in midfield, maybe being a bit more solid, um, and you got to hurt him with that pace on the break. Probably Maeda, Kyogo will be quite key with that, getting in behind them. If, I expect they'll have the majority of the ball, but I think uh, resolute defence, and, and, and uh, it's always a hard thing in Europe with us, is taking our chances when, when they come. Uh, but like I say, we've got, we've got a decent chance of, of getting a result and hurting them. Do you see the way that Celtic have played that they've proved that they, they belong at this level? Definitely. I mean, three, four years ago, probably not, but recently we've been really well and 
we actually deserve to be at this stage, if not Europa League at least. Let's get your thoughts on, on the game tomorrow. What do you rate or do you rate Celtic's chances at all? Well, I do. You know, I, I'm always optimistic, ever the optimist. Um, a draw, I think, would be a good result. Um, and we just need a, we just need some breaks this time. You know, we've had we've had a couple of unlucky games where penalties and decisions have gone against us off sides. We just need some breaks tomorrow. Keep it tight, and then I think we'll be okay. Amelia, what have you made of the the campaign and the, the game so far? Yeah, as my dad said, um, it's been a bit unlucky, and yeah, Celtic have obviously bottom of the table. So hopefully. <laughs> They can start picking up a few points, otherwise it's not not looking good. <laughs> this is a it's a big big test though going to an environment like this against a, a really top team. Well, this is it. This is this is why you want to be in the Champions League. You got to test yourself against these sides. Um, and I don't think we're being embarrassed. Feyenoord, bit unlucky decision sending off. Lazio at home could have been two one up and ended up losing. And then Atletico two each. I mean. We give them a real fright first half. Um, so what you know, we've held our own in this company, and this is where you want to be. Prediction: two-one uh, Celtic. Oof. Andrew: one-one. <laughs> very optimistic. Thank you very much. Enjoy the game. Let's now hear what Celtic manager Brendan Rodgers had to say ahead of this one. Listen, I think we played well in the in the three games, and, and I think as each game has gone on, the the level of performance has. Has been better. I think we haven't had the breaks that we probably wanted from the games. But in terms of performance level, and in particular the last game, we were we were very very good. But we're under no illusions. We understand we're coming to a you know fantastic stadium, play against a really good team. But we're we're really excited by that challenge. Diego Simeone today was full of praise for your team and the, the style of play. Do you as a, a club and a squad feel that you've maybe earned a, a bit of more respect given the way you've performed so far? Well, I believe so. We, we, you know, the cynics will probably tell us that we, you know, we've only got one point. But for for a club and a team like ourselves, it's all about improving that level of confidence, and that all comes through performance. And we maybe haven't quite had the the results and the points on the board, especially in the last two games that we would have deserved. But we're uh, we're we're very happy with with the performance level. So, but we want to keep that going, and we want to. Uh, See if we can take more points out of the next three games than what we did in the first three. For us, the notion is to is to to look to play our game, to make a, a fast start in the game, and uh, obviously when the challenges that come, which they will do, then uh, we look to defend really strongly as a team to uh, uh, to combat that. As I mentioned earlier, Craig Levine is back in management at St Johnston, looking to get the pair side away from bottom of the Premiership. When Jeff called me, it was a Easy decision, bearing in mind, as I say, I, you know, I know Jeff for quite a while and uh, I respect him. And the fact that the the team, there's possibilities there, I think that's important. What I've realised, certainly the, 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 the latter spell at, at Arts, trying to do two jobs at the same time is extremely difficult. So that's one thing I've learned. The reason that I've brought Andy with me is that he can take some of the load, mainly the, the sort of day-to-day coaching stuff. Um, and give me a chance to spend what energy I have in the areas that are most important. I think, f- firstly, when you look at the league table, we've got our main concern is uh, is to try and improve the situation there. And speaking about longer term, it's probably you know, not for now. I wouldn't think the, the the stresses and the strains are the same as they were two or three years back when I was at Hearts. So. Um, from that point of view, I know what to expect. I, mean, I don't know how many games I've managed, but there's quite a lot, you know. So, my job and Andy's job will be to try and improve the the players, and, and if we can do that, if we improve four or five individual players, then the team improves, um, and that would be our immediate aims. That's all for now. Remember, full coverage of Atletico Madrid v Celtic on Sports Sound on Tuesday night. And you can keep right up to date online at BBC Sports Scotland. Thanks for listening. The Scottish Football Podcast from BBC Radio Scotland.